If this doesn't prove Bitcoin adoption, I don't know what will. In chapter one, we reached millions. In chapter two, we're going to reach billions and we're going to do it quickly. And chapter two starts right now. So I'll give you a flavor of chapter two. Say I want to send a thousand bucks, I'm sitting in New York right now, to a friend in Milan, Italy. Strike, Jack Mahler's firm, working with Nidig, takes my dollars and delivers them to my Milan friend in euros instantly and for free. What? Like, how did this happen? So let's go slow. First, Strike takes my dollars from my bank account, my thousand bucks, and they debit it. That's a millisecond. Second, Strike works with Nidig and we do a trade. We convert the thousand dollars into Bitcoin. It's another millisecond or two. Third, Strike's work, Strike works with Lightning Labs and it zips the Bitcoin across the Atlantic Ocean to Milan. We're still in single digit milliseconds, basically instantly. Over there, there's another FX trade. Nidi converts that Bitcoin into euros. We're still in milliseconds. And finally, Strike credits my friend's bank account with final settlement in euros. Done. So what, what just happened? What just happened is a thousand bucks were moved from me in New York to my friend in Milan and converted into euros instantly and for free. How? Because for the first time in history, we have an electronic bearer asset, never had an electronic bearer asset, it's called Bitcoin, and an open source monetary network, which we've never had before, it's also called Bitcoin, that together can achieve cash finality anywhere in the world, anytime, 24-7, 365, with liquidity in every, any currency pair you care about.